Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from radical equations. So let's get started by writing our equation one. Now we will use rationalization for our denominators. So we need to multiply here with the square root of x square plus 32 plus x. So the same bracket we will multiply in the numerator square root of x square plus 32 plus x. For this term we need to multiply with the square root of x square plus 32 minus x. So we will multiply in the numerator by the same bracket square root of x square plus 32 minus x. Now in the denominator we are having a plus b times a minus b form or a minus b times a plus b form. So we can write here algebraic formula a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square. So we can write our denominators as a square root of x square plus 32 whole square. This is a square minus b square so x square now square root and square will be over we will write our denominator x square plus 32 minus x square so x square minus x square will be over our denominators will be 32 let's write our equation here so fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 plus x over 32 minus fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 minus x over 32 equal to 1. Now we know that nth root of a over b, this is equal to nth root of a over nth root of b. So I will be writing fifth root of square root x square plus 32 plus x over fifth root of 32 minus fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 minus x over fifth root of 32 equal to 1. Now we can write or simplify fifth root of 32 here. Fifth root of 32 we can write fifth root of 2 power 5. So fifth root power 5 will be over. We can write fifth root of 32 equal to 2. So here I will be writing 2. Here I will be writing 2. Now multiply both sides by 2. This side also we will multiply by 2. So we can cancel this 2 with the denominator 2. So I can write our equation fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 plus x minus fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 minus x equal to 1 times 2 so 2. Now I will take minus common from this radicand. So I can write fifth root of square root of x square plus 32 plus x minus fifth root of minus is common. Then in other bracket I can write x minus square root of x square plus 32 
and then RHS will be equal to 2. Now again we can use one radical property nth root of a times b can be written as nth root of a nth root of b. So we can write fifth root of square root x square plus 32 plus x minus fifth root of minus 1 times fifth root of x minus square root of x square plus 32 equal to 2. Now we know that minus 1 power 5. If I will write minus 1 power 5, this is equal to minus 1. So here we can write fifth root of minus 1 will be equal to fifth root of minus 1 whole power 5. Fifth root power 5 will be over minus 1. So here I can write minus 1. So minus times minus becomes plus. So fifth root of square root x square plus 32 plus x plus fifth root of x minus square root of x square plus 32 equal to 2. Now we have to solve this equation. Let us write here fifth root of x plus square root of x square plus 32. Then plus fifth root of x minus square root of x square plus 32. And right hand side is 2. Now we will consider first radicand a power 5 second radicand b power 5. So if I will write here a power 5 plus b power 5 value then a square root term will be over as we are having plus and minus. So we will get 2x. Now from the original equation I will be getting a plus b equal to 2 and third equation we will consider from the product a power 5 times b power 5. So I can write here x whole square minus square root x square plus 32 whole square. So square root and square will be over. We will get minus 32. So LHS is ab whole power 5 and RHS we can write minus 2 whole power 5. So once we will take fifth root both sides, we will get AB equal to negative 2. Now we are having three equations 1, 2 and 3. Now I will use binomial expansion. So if I will write A power 5 plus B power 5, this was 2x. A plus B was 2 and a times b was negative 2. Now I will write a plus b whole power 5 expansion. We know the expansion coefficients using Pascal triangle 1 5 10 10 5 1. So I will club first and last all together coefficient 5 all together 10 all together. So I can write a power 5 plus b power 5. Coefficient 1 is over. Now I can write 5 times ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube. Coefficient 5 is also over. Now the third term of coefficient 10 I will write 10 a square b square in the bracket a plus b. Now we have to apply all the values. So a plus b is 2. So I will write LHS 2 power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 2x plus 5 times a times b is negative 2 
So I will write minus 2. A cube plus B cube is required. So we will calculate A cube plus B cube separately. Let's write here A plus B equal to 2. Consider cubing both sides. So I can write here A cube plus B cube plus 3AB. A plus B and 2 cube is 8. So I can write A cube plus B cube plus AB is minus 2. So I will write 3 times minus 2. A plus B is 2. Right hand side is 8. So we will get A cube plus B cube 12 plus 8. So 20. So we can write here this value 20. Now the last term is left 10 times. So I will write 10. AB is negative 2. So minus 2 whole square. A plus B is 2. So 2. So 32 equal to 2x. Then here I can write 100. 100 times negative 2. Minus 200 plus 10 times 4 times 2. So 8 times 10, 80. Or I can write 32 will be equal to 2x minus 120. Let me write this equation here. 32 equal to 2x minus 120. Add 120 to both sides. So we can write 120 plus 32 will be equal to 2x. 152 equal to 2x. Let's divide both sides by 2. We will get our x as 76. I hope friends you will like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.